All right, so I just got done reading this book, Creating Cuber by Warren Davis. This book, surprisingly, was really, really good. And after reading this book, you'll learn a lot about Cuber that you probably couldn't find anywhere else online. Very interesting. Even this stuff like the pinball knocker that they use inside the cabinet to um, the voices and the, um, the coin drop when you drop the quarter in, how that was created. Um, it, wasn't, it wasn't digitized. It's amazing. Look at this Cubert flyer. Here we go. Cubert came out in 1982. And let's see what we got down here. Operators love Cubert. I really don't understand what this is. Is this like the months that it was number one? I don't know. I read there was about 25,000 Cuberts arcade machines sold. So that's ranking up $300 a week. But arcade machines back there cost a few thousand dollars too. So how quick did you get your money back on those? There is also. A spinoff of Mellow Yellow through um, connections of ownerships through Gottlieb and who owned them and how they were connected to the uh, Coca Cola company. This Perko had like these cutscenes here of Cubert drinking Mellow Yellow. You guys like Mellow Yellow? I don't know. This is one of the, um, th this is the um, arcade marquee that came out on some of the first test machines. I think that was before they got the Cubert name. And that was, um, you can read the book. He talks about how they got their name. The game was well made, almost done before they uh, actually named the game. Warren Davis talks about that in the book also. Let's fire up the game here. Oh, one of the craziest thing of Kubert, let's just get this out of the way, is the controls. And in the book, he talks about this a lot, how people are used to like a full ray joystick. But you know, his is rotated like that. And that is so hard to do on like a main machine or... In reproduction, it's like so hard to play Cubert. When um, this is what I'll be using. It's so hard to um hit the angles while you're playing Cubert. I'm going to kind of hold it like this and have extra lives turned on. One way I die a lot is is because of the controls. I, I can't get the controls to work. Let's start the game. Hello, I'm turning on. I know the um the audio is not fully working in the meme right here. Let's just start up here. I'm holding this at an angle, but to try to get this, I just how I have to do it. Do you, do you guys know how to play Cubert? Have you played Cubert before? The first screen or the first one or two screens is really easy. Right there. Get the little coily there. We'll jump off the edge there. Do that for points. Is it worth like 500 points or something like that? I think so. The static is from the um the digitized samples in Mame. All right. I think I can clean up the static. I guess I could in Audacity. I'm waiting for him here. There we go. We should be able to clean this up. Yeah, a little joystick got stuck there. I, I, was, I was frozen. That was because, not because I wanted to, it's because of the joystick. How many times have you jumped off the edge in this game by accident? I know I have a lot. Oh, I should have went up. Get that green, that little green dot. It's for in invincibility. Oh, I, I really needed that green dot, didn't I? Okay, well, we can clear this level here now. What is this, round number three? That wasn't too bad. Although I did die. Uh-oh. There we go. Ooh, we got a bonus. I always uh jump back to see if it's one of these levels where you gotta... <laughs> I almost died there. To see if I um have to jump on each block twice. I'll just sit here and wait for a few minutes. Uh, yeah. 
We just got the middle to clear here. Uh-oh. Well, oh no. Oh, that little guy? You gotta get him. He will mess you up. He changed he'll change all your um your color blocks to a different color. Or reset them. It's a pain. Okay, here. Now now we have to, um level two we gotta start jumping on blocks twice. Later on, it's even harder where you it's uh, a puzzle where you have to well you'll see where if you jump on them a second time it will change it change it back but it's, it's pretty challenging later on here no oh. oh come on man Get that guy. Get, get that guy. Wait for him. No. You really can't catch up to those guys, too. If you. Sometimes I think it's luck. All right, let's just set him up to jump over the edge. Uh, yeah, I died just sitting there. I have extra lives turned on. For good reason. Oh, yeah, I got him that time. That was nice. That was a dangerous spot to sit. That's right. The uh, enemies, because the, the very top square is a safe spot. Back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. I always go down this edge for some reason. The green dot, can I get him? Nope. The controller, it was the controller. It was the controller, trust me in that. I don't know what he was saying, but I didn't like it. <laughs> I jumped back and forth. Got him. Yeah, I got him that time. Right when he came into the screen. That was real, that was really luck. Okay, yeah, focus. I gotta go for yellow. Right now. Um You see about now the audio goes out. And MAME. It's it's MAME. I was gonna sit here and wait. Yeah. It's a quick 500 points when you do that. Oh man. No. Messing me up. Oh, there we go. That was the glitch. So that's uh, the audio is out. I will. I will go back and post and add the um, the end of screen, the end of level um audio like you just heard there. I don't know what that bug is all about. Oh no, I almost jumped up and set it down right there. Get that green dot. Nope, there's no way to get that guy. Oh, I did, I got him. I got him, I didn't think I could get him. Go as fast as I can. Don't jump off the edge. Yeah, go fast, 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 fast. How long does invincibility last? Like about five seconds, maybe 10. Okay, go, go, jump down here, let's go up to the top. Oh, there's that guy. We're just gonna follow his path back down. Nope, nope. We're gonna go over and get 500 points. Wait, change plans, change plans. Oh, God. Uh, I thought he was um coming on my square, so I jumped. I jumped on the disc there. All right, here we go. This screen's pretty cool. This messes me up. Oh, that that's not even fair. That, that was a dirty move right there. The little green guy, luckily he's not affecting anything right now. This is my pattern. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I gotta remember, I gotta jump on everything twice. Yeah. I'm gonna follow this down here. Oh, I'm out of disc. Oh, there's a disc up at the top. I don't know if I like that up there. That's a weird spot for it. I don't know. If, oh, I'm surrounded. Surrounded. Looks like I can use that after all. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Gotta finish this off. Can we do it? No, get that. Yeah, we can do it. Now we can. Yeah. Oh, well, wait, wait, one more. Thought I had it there. 
Okay, now we get to the puzzle levels where um, you need them to be all on one color, but when you jump on a color, it changes it. You'll see, you kind of have to, um, so you need the dark blue, but the dark blue changes back. If you turn, jump on a dark blue, it changes back to light blue. So you have to do this puzzle in a way that you're gonna get them all to be dark blue. At the end of the level, so it's actually pretty fun. I gotta figure this out. Oh, I wanna get that guy. Oh, I should've jumped down. We got it. It gets harder. Should we do one more level? I don't know. I think you get the idea of the cube right here. Oh, I keep jumping the wrong way. It's the joystick. Oh, okay. Kind of odd without background music or sound without the boink 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 but sorry about that oh, here we go oh see that how okay now we got to figure out how am i going to clear this here let's see the top oh the top level changes too wait let's go up here oh gotta get that guy yeah okay you see a path no not because of the top one is there okay i'm gonna do this Oh yeah, and then we should go back down. Now jump! Ah, oh, I was so close, I almost died right there. All right, cool. I was about to pause this here. That is it. Hello, I'm Fernand. Did you love that that audio at the beginning? Pretty cool. Does Cubert post below? How do you rank Cubert in retro gaming? Is do you like it? Have you played it much? What do you think of that joystick? Uh, it's like so hard to play like this. I was trying to hold the joystick at an angle. All right, I think that helped a little bit, but it's a pretty fun game. I put a lot of quarters in this game back in the day. Post below, what do you think? <laughs>